Joe Manchin is the reason we have this behemoth. I hope people are clear on him now. I, we've been preaching that the J- caution Joe Manchin on this broadcast forever. Um, I don't know if he's going to run again or not, but people should remember this. And remember this moment when he's asked about his bill on inflation reduction. Is it misleading to call this the Inflation Reduction Act for Americans when it's not going to make their grocery bill cheaper? It's not going to make everyday goods cheaper for them. Why would it? Why would it? Well, immediately it's not. But we never seen anything happen immediately like today. It's turned the switch on and off. He shows his true colors. He's he's a Democrat, tried and true, big spender, big taxer, big federal bureaucracy. But the fact, Logan, that he literally said, why would it, was the initial response to, yeah. how will the Inflation Reduction <laughs> Act help inflation? Why would it? They're spinning it. They're changing it. It's no longer the Inflation Reduction Act. We've started to hear that sort of in the press. They started calling it uh, things to do with the environment and things to do with energy. We're hearing those terms being thrown around. You're not hearing Inflation Reduction Act very much anymore. On the point that you made about the timing of when people will start to see relief, you know, some of the provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act are going to ha- uh, help really immediately. Uh, mm-hmm. The provisions that give consumers tax rebates uh, or tax credits for uh, going out and buying more energy efficient heaters or energy efficient appliances, those are enacted immediately. The Democrat way to reduce inflation is go out, spend money on overpriced goods right now, and then you might get a tax rebate. Th- this is a... This, th- this is like send in the coupons from the uh, from your from your cereal box and you might get a toy. Yeah, it feels like a pyramid scheme. You know, it feels like it a, is. if you if you get someone to sign up and then they get someone to sign up and then they get someone to sign up and then guess what? Then we're all making money. Well, it, 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 it's going to bring down need the cost. You to spend. Yeah. First, we need you to buy an overpriced. Yeah, you got to buy the pack. You got to buy the intro pack, of which course. doesn't exist. Yeah, because that's it's back. You know, it's it's stuck and. In China somewhere, and uh, or in some boat at at a, you know on transport. They called it the Inflation Reduction Act as a marketing device, uh, in part to uh, lock down the vote of Joe Manchin. The Inflation Reduction Act basically speaks to what everybody's concerned with right now: kitchen table checkbook items. This is marketing branding genius. Completely marketing tool. <laughs> this is uh, th- that was a, a title that seemed to work better than Build Back Better. People didn't like Build Back Better because that was immediately uh, seen as just a huge, gigantic government spending bill at a time when no one wanted that. So they just renamed it and and tried to name it something that everybody would like, which is less inflation. Bernie Sanders was like, it's going to do nothing. It's going to do nothing but hurt people. I mean, when you people like that on both sides going, you know, this is ridiculous. They even called this the Inflation Reduction Act. This is the issue with Senator Manchin. And I know people in West Virginia, Reese, you, they like him. He's horrendous. He's probably the worst member of Congress because he lies to his constituents and he lies to the American people. And he just... This may be his biggest lie of his career. Just think, I just want you to understand, do not think that they don't know what they're doing. That it's really about the Green New Deal and tax hikes 